Good morning, everyone. So Josh and I got to the hotel in Lexington, Virginia yesterday, and I'm super excited because today I'm getting back on trail after being off for about a week for my foot injury. I'm only gonna be slackpacking today and then tomorrow I'm gonna get back on trail for good and Josh is gonna leave, but I am just, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Back on trail, so excited. Josh. I'm back on trail, woo, I'm so excited. And I'm also gonna hit the 800 mile mark like super soon, so that's awesome. Josh just dropped me off at the Punchbowl Overlook and he's gonna come get me at US Route 60 in a little bit, doing like 10.9 miles for the day, so nothing crazy, but it's gonna be really fun. So talk about my foot for a second. It's getting better, it's not all the way better. It's still feeling pretty sore when hiking, but like I said in yesterday's video, I did get the okay. The podiatrist told me it's going to be sore, told me to take ibuprofen, um, and just make sure it doesn't get too much worse. But yeah, in comparison to the last time I hiked, it feels way better. I'm at mile 799.5. I'm getting so close. I'm so excited. There it is. 800 miles. Woo, so proud. This is the first mile marker that I've never actually reached before. I'm honestly really glad that I decided to take that extra week off. I think if I would have just kept on hiking, my foot would have just got worse and worse and it would have hurt so bad. And it probably would have gotten to the point where I may not have been able to continue. I may have done some serious damage. And that's why it's so important to listen to your body. While it does really suck that I had to get off trail for that long, um, it honestly could have saved my hike. I don't know, we'll see. It's funny because I was also just editing the other day the video where I was talking about getting the Virginia Blues a little bit. I was like, I really just want to be at home with my cats and drink coffee and be careful what you wish for because I got it. But I think it was a really nice break. I think I needed it and I think it's gonna just give me the motivation to keep going. It broke up the trail a little bit, so that was good. I got to see my family, um, lots of positives there. The biggest negative, though, for getting off trail by far is um, my friend Forlo that I met literally on my second day on trail at Hawk Mountain Shelter. She's like 200 miles ahead of me right now, so it's, I think I can catch up. It's going to be really hard, though. That's a pretty big gap, and she's moving pretty fast. I'm just going to try my best to avoid taking zeros and limit the Nero's as much as possible and hopefully I can catch up to her because I really like hiking with her. It, we get along so well. So yeah, I'm definitely a bit sad about that. Um, I seriously debated getting back on um, where she's at on trail, but I've always wanted like so badly for Katahdin to be the end of my hike. And basically if I would have got on where she's at, um, my hike would have turned into a flip-flop. And the section that I'm doing right now would be the end of my hike, which would have been okay. I just, I don't know. When I hit like a lot of the landmarks, I really want to feel like I actually hit them, like the 1,000 mile mark and just stuff like that. I also really want to finish Virginia, like so bad. <sighs> Virginia, I don't know, man. But yeah, it was a hard decision. Um, I think right now I'm happy with the decision. We'll see. It's probably going to be pretty lonely. I will say to you though that there is another person that I hiked with. Um, towards the beginning of the trail and then around hot springs who just spent a month off trail and she right now um, just got back on same exact day as me but she's going to be about 13 miles ahead of me so I think I can catch her because she was off trail for a month so it's going to take her a bit longer to get her trail legs back and I think for me it is going to take me a little bit of time to get those trail legs back but I don't think it's going to be that long honestly I think it's just going to be a matter of a couple days we'll see I'm really just gonna go off of how I feel. But yeah, her and I can probably hike together for a while. Her name's Tough Baby. And also, even though Forlo is like 200 miles ahead of me, um, a lot of my other friends that I was hiking with 
um, or hiking around for a long time. They're actually in Shenandoah right now, so they're not that far. At the most, they're probably like 100 miles ahead of me, so I should have an easier time catching back up to them. But I thought about it, and it's actually going to be really fun to like slowly catch up to people, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Oh wow, this is a really cool bridge. There's a dam right there. I had no clue I was going to be walking by a lake or reservoir or river or whatever this is. I don't know. Oh, that sign was actually really interesting. Y'all might want to pause the video and read it really quick. Um, but basically, this Brown Mountain Creek area that I'm walking through right now used to be a freed slave community. So that's really cool. And there's some old buildings and uh, different stuff in this area. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye out. You can see some of the rock walls over there, kind of, through the trees. Super cool. only like half a mile from the road. Um, there's no service here, so I tried texting Josh with my Zolia, hopefully it goes through. But I might end up waiting there for a little bit, but that's okay. Feeling pretty good, a little bit tight because I haven't hunked in a while, but besides that, I've had a great day. Also, it didn't take me very long. I think I've been out here for almost four hours now, so not bad at all. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, but I will see you tomorrow when I get back on trail and head north.